Welcome to part four of this short series, Creating a Virtual Environment Using Pyware, Screencast-O-Matic, and iMovie. Uh, early on in part one, we identified the goal in creating this virtual reality uh, for the viewer um, using these software packages uh, to where animation of uh, drill and music would actually bring the viewer into the venue. Uh, so it looks like the, the actual stadium where it's being performed. It sounds like the actual stadium. The group on the field looks like the actual group. So trying to make it look as close to a movie without it being a, a recording of a performance. All right. Um, this last portion, we're going to be looking at how I took the Screencast-O-Matic videos that I shot uh, of the Pyware animation, brought them into iMovie, and then edited them and put them together in to a completed product uh, using iMovie, and then uh, exported them to YouTube. And this is iMovie. This is one of the files. In fact, this is part one of uh, the virtual pregame. And I wanted to do an opening to where uh, it showed the, the exterior of the stadium and then flew up and into the stadium uh, to reveal the beginning of pregame. And the way I did that was um, I just used the, the animation file, part one, and set the camera in Pyware so that it was pulled away as far as I could get it. Uh, well, I, actually, it may not be as far away, but to where I was able to see the the full facade of the west side of Memorial Stadium. And I had the camera pan up after a few seconds to reveal the east side of the stadium and then go as high as I could <laughs> um, and then... Uh, did a fade out and a fade back in to on the field. Um, because the actual file is starts at the beginning of our pregame performance and it's the crowd and the drums getting the band on the field, um, I used uh, detach audio. So the original audio under this animation was that of um, of the actual pregame file. So I detached it, deleted it, and then I found some crowd sounds on YouTube and lifted those and, and put those underneath the animation. So that's where this crowd sound comes from um, at the beginning of the video is something I found on YouTube. And then I just cross-faded that. You see here where I had it drop down and then pick up the actual file. So uh, this is the way the, the opening of it looks. We'll just run it in the small screen up here. Now we start flying up. And then we cut the field. And then I used, for the first segment here, just the camera animation in Pyware. So there's no iMovie editing. You can see this is all one shot. And that's how part one begins. As I went deeper into uh, the pregame itself, uh, not in part one, but in part two, I did some um, editing in iMovie to put things together. So we'll look at that. And in part two, 
um, I knew that I wanted to to get some different looks and I wanted them to happen a little more rapidly than using the panning uh, of the Pyware camera. Um, and I want to do some different things uh, so that you could get uh, multiple shots. Um, so the first thing I did, you can see that I used the beginning segment of the blimp, kind of blimp perspective up high, and then cut to the middle of the field as if um, you're on the 50-yard line, okay, uh, low in the stands. Um, just to, to get all this set up for um, the next segment, which is where the band plays Visitor's Fight um, and then the National Anthem. Um, then I uh, went back to the blimp shot uh, for uh, this portion of the banner and then lifted some actual video footage uh, from Memorial Stadium uh, for uh, the beginning of the banner. Actually, this, this is... Uh, Visitors fight and an announcement, yes. Uh, so the beginning of the National Anthem, you see uh, Dr. Carolyn Barber starting and then cut back to the field. And then I wanted to uh, get some shots of a flag, the crowd. So I what I did is I kept the uh, soundtrack all one piece and then edited, edited uh, the video over top of it. So... Um, I didn't want to get into a, a thing where I was trying to sync up video or edit video. It was much easier to deal with it as one chunk and then detach video and just mess with that portion of it. Um, then I got some of the honor guard on the field. I was able to get um, kind of a different perspective. You're on the field uh, during the national anthem, hearing the crowd sing and all that. Then I cut back to Pyware animation uh, for the next portion and did one big chunk um, and then had a flyover. Okay. Um, then after the National Anthem again went back to that 50 yard line perspective and then up to overhead. Um, and then I think, yes, then I did some from the end zone. So you're looking down the field. You got an angled shot. And also uh, put um, the smaller window in so that you're actually like you're marching a spot in the band. I wanted to go back to the blimp overhead for the last portion. So this had several edits in it uh, to get uh, all the perspectives that I felt like I wanted to put in. Um, this one I used on the field again when we formed the state of Nebraska and an up top shot to uh, finish. So that's really how I used um, iMovie to put it together. Then once everything is stitched together, you export, um, and I always just do it as a file and then upload it to my YouTube channel, uh, and things always play really well and sync well with the music. So if you're interested in doing this kind of work, I hope this helps you. Um, again, I didn't want it to turn into an iMovie tutorial. I wouldn't be the person to teach that anyway. Most of the things I've learned in iMovie have been trial and failure. Um, but uh, it has come in really handy um, in putting these together. So I hope that you find this information helpful. Um, always love to hear from people that are reading the blog or, or watching my videos. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, email me. Or, uh, or, or leave a comment on the channel. Thanks.